All right, here we are with Joshua, his maiden flight of his, what is it, Aerofoam? Yes. T-45. Tell us about it. Uh, I got a 110 jet fan, 840 kV HEP motor on 12S. What's... On two China Hobby Line 10,000s. Damn. So we'll see what happens. Here we go with the maiden flight. Ain't nothing to it. Do it. Sure to follow and subscribe, Facebook and YouTube. Send it RC. Right. He's not nervous. Looks amazing. Looks steady. <laughs> nice. Joshua was having trouble getting it up. How's it feel? Feels like a big turbine bit. <laughs> nice. Mm. It looks solid, locked in. Setting up for a landing. All right. This pass. Don't forget, you got 3,000 feet of runway. Okay, flaps are definitely up elevator. Is it one of the no dogs? So I'm gonna come in with no flaps. It just wanted to float like they said it would. Just use all the runway you need.
timer is no data. Thirty-five point five volts. Yeah! Woo! Man! <laughs> yes! Like a boss. I've been building that thing since December. And finally, <laughs> today we got it done here. Nice. Couldn't do it without my buddy Alan. Thank you for being here, Bob. Hey, Bob. Area 51 did it again. <laughs> Man, let's do it again. <laughs> Good job. That's as close to a turbine as you can get. <laughs> All right, pilot Josh, what to say at the end? This is a great jet. <laughs> I mean, it was rock solid the whole flight. Felt like just like a, they say bigger flies better, it's true. I mean, I just flew the Eurofighter and it was a handful and then I have this. And this made me more nervous, but a lot better, easier to fly. Got brakes this time, no reverse thrust, ain't gonna worry about that, got the brakes. And $800, I mean, right there, you, buy with some of these uh, art foam planes for 500 and you can have a bigger one like this. So it's definitely worth getting. I'm glad I got it. Amazing jet. It's pretty. Let's uh, charge some batteries and do a little bit more with it. See what we can do.